Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Honda booth and welcome to a press conference. We welcome you all. We'd now like to call upon President and CEO Takanobu Ito. Mr. Ito, the stage is yours. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ito. I'd like to thank you very much for taking time today to visit the Honda booth. Since its foundation, Honda's business has focused on creating personal mobility. Honda has continued to offer freedom of mobility fun of mobility and a convenient and comfortable lifestyle. Last year, Honda delivered motorcycles, automobiles, power products to approximately 23 million customers around the world. Leveraging on our strength as a manufacturer of motorcycles, automobiles, and power products, we are making all-out effort to reduce CO2 emission by not only reducing fuel consumption of existing products, but also developing fuel cells and new electromotive technologies so as to be at the forefront in environment and energy technologies. At this year's Motor Show, our booth showcases Honda's vision for mobility of the near future. At this motor show, this is um, the mobility that we are envisioning for the near future to express our vision of providing both products that generate electricity and mobility products that run on electricity. We are proposing the concept of HALO, which stands for Honda Electric Mobility Loop. These are the products displayed at the HALO zone. The centerpiece of our exhibition is FCX Clarity, a fuel cell electric vehicle which runs on electricity generated by hydrogen reacting with oxygen. All along with FCX, we have the compact city commuter EVN, a battery electric vehicle featuring a simple design. The EV Club is an electric motorcycle offering the familiar design and outstanding convenience of a super cub. EV Monpal, an electric personal mobility which offers a sense of security and comfort. And a new mobility device, U3X, born from ASIMO, bipedal humanoid program designed to offer affinity and harmonious coexistence with people. All these products run on clean energy, either hydrogen or electricity, produced from solar power. Each model carries interactive communication functions to showcase the fun ways in which mobility devices can interact with people and society. In the long run, the advancement of electromotive technologies will be vital to the reduction of CO2 emission. We believe fuel cell electric vehicles will be the ultimate form for automobiles as it emits no CO2 while in use and can travel considerable distance and can be quickly recharged. And since the 1990s, Honda has independently developed fuel cell stacks. We have been leading the industry in creating fuel cell stacks of the highest performance and efficiency. The fuel cell stack on display here today is lightweight, compact, taking into account the needs for future mass production. 
This has enabled the FCX Clarity to offer packaging unachievable with the conventional internal combustion engine. The model offers a spacious cabin and innovative exterior styling. It also offers smooth, perfectly linear acceleration and the unparalleled quietness of an electric vehicle, an entirely new kind of driving enjoyment. Lease sales of the FCX Clarity began in the United States and Japan last year, and this year we began experiments on public roads in Europe. Going, keeping in mind the expected increase in use, Honda will continue to advance its fuel cell stack technology. In the area of battery electric vehicles, Honda has been offering the EV Plus on lease beginning 1997 in Japan and the United States. We have obtained customer feedback on daily use and customer expectations and requirements. In addition, various technologies and know-how such as motor drive and high voltage control were applied to our FCX Clarity and hybrid vehicles. Due to the level of battery performance, Honda is conducting research on battery EVs as a short-distance commuter vehicle. The EVN and EV Cub on display today represent the direction we are pursuing. Given the current level of electromotive technologies, however, we believe at present Honda should prioritize the more widespread use of gasoline electric hybrid vehicles. It is of utmost importance that we contribute to reducing CO2 emissions by offering environment friendly hybrid vehicles to a greater number of users. At this motor show, we are introducing the CRZ Concept 2009, a proposal for a new hybrid model. The CRZ Concept 2009 is the world's first hybrid vehicle equipped with a six-speed manual transmission. Together with a 1.5-liter iVTEC engine, the vehicle can create a completely new set of values, offering both fun-to-drive and outstanding fuel economy features. Based on a low, short, and wide design concept, the compact, lightweight, and highly efficient Honda hybrid system known as IMA is packaged with an advanced form. We plan to launch a production model based on the CRZ concept in Japan next February and subsequently Europe and North America. And the uh, Skydeck hybrid over there it's a study model focused on the concept of freely extending opportunities and fun in people's lives unrestrained by their age or lifestyle. What we strive to do was to achieve a vehicle that fulfills the needs of each and every customer. The Skydex compact body contains a flexible high utility space for transporting many people and the leisure gear and equipment for the activities they enjoy. In addition to our hybrid product lineup, we are executive exhibiting automobiles that are fun to use and to drive, including the all-new step wagon, which achieved the largest interior space in its class, best-in-class fuel economy and features underfloor storage for third-road seats, as well as the Civic Type R Euro, which we plan to introduce in Japan in November. Please have a look. Uh, now, we also have so for you some uh, selection of Honda motorcycles. We believe that the key to expanding the motorcycle market, including appealing to younger people, is pursuing the fun technologies, which include technologies that enable riders to experience the fun of being in full control of motorcycles and designs which provide a joint ownership. The CB1100 uh, was the one we developed as the CB for a new era in celebration of the 50th anniversary of Honda CB line. The CB1100 is equipped with a simple air-cooled inline four-cylinder engine much in demand by experienced riders 
and also the design is full of functional elegance. Designed to please even the most discerning veteran riders, we expect that the CB1100 uh, featuring technologies chosen specifically for this model will have a catalyzing effect on the sports bike segment in Japan. Today, this time making its world premiere at the Tokyo Motor Show this year is the VFR1200F, a high-value-added fun sports touring model featuring next-generation styling and the latest technologies, all of which make it the perfect bike for long-distance rides. The VFR1200F also will be available with the world's first dual-clutch transmission for motorcycles. This lightweight, compact automatic transmission offers exceptionally fine control as well as fuel efficiency as good as a better than that of standard minor transmissions. The response is very direct and provides exhilarating ride and enjoyment. Honda will be launching this VFR1200F first in Europe and then in Japan and then North America. Next we have the VT1300 series. Its uh, series consists of three models with designs full of characters to match the varying tastes and needs of discriminating riders. In addition, uh, thanks to Honda's original technologies, highly stable handling has joined forces with stylish cruiser design. The EV, EV Neo sorry, is a next-generation electric commuter motorcycle that is both durable and also provides outstanding convenience for business use. We are making progress in the development of the EVE NEO with plans to introduce it to the market in the near future. We also have many more exciting motorcycles on display in addition to those just described, so please do take your time to see all of them. Now, let me continue on to talk about our power products. Making people's lives more convenient and comfortable, helping people get things done, is the passion behind our power products business. Sales of the Pianta Tiller, which runs on ordinary household butane gas canisters, has been growing strong since it has, was introduced to the market earlier this year as a new category of tiller product. Today, we are exhibiting our second product that runs on the same canisters, the Enipo generator, designed as a generator that is more user-friendly and personal item that is easier to use, easier to store, and easier to transport. Development of Enipo generator is proceeding rapidly, and we currently plan to launch it in Japan in the spring of next year. In addition to these products, Honda will continue offering, continue to offer power products which fulfill the diverse needs of our customers, including solar panels and the Montpal electric four-wheel scooter. Since the company's foundation, Honda associates have always dedicated themselves to dreaming up ideas to make life more convenient and enjoyable, and we don't stop there. We continue taking on the challenge to turn such dreams into reality with our products, whether on tone technology, and offer these products to people around the world. Combining passion and technology is Honda's basic approach as manufacturer. More than 50 years ago, we created Super Cub, which continues to be popular among customers around the world. In the 70s, we created Honda CVCC engine, which became the world first to comply with the US Clean Air Act. Today, we, as we express in a booth concept of creating the never before, we will continue our R&D efforts to quickly deliver convenient fun and unique products to our customers in a way that is only possible by Honda. Please do look forward to the output of our efforts. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a very pleasant time at the Honda booth and at the Tokyo Motor Show this year. Once again, thank you very much.